So the first step in running ArcSWAT is to set up an ArcSWAT project. And I've created a new folder to contain my project. This stands for Spring Creek and Lake number two. And I've collected a few of the files that I know I'm going to need. I've got a land use raster for my area and I've already projected it to UTMs. I've got an NED elevation raster also in UTMs. And I also have um, a polygon shape file outlining the lake, spring lake that I'm studying here. You don't have to have this last one, but it's very nice to have. So I've got those all in the new folder that I've created. So now I'm going to large, launch ArcMap. <laughs> and I'm going to cancel here. And since I installed ArcSWAT, I've got this toolbar up here. So I'm going to start a SWAT, uh, set up a SWAT project, new project. I don't want to save the current documents, so there's nothing there. So my project directory, I'm going to set to the new folder that I created. And it's going to automatically create a geodatabase, and it's going to name it based upon the name of that folder. And it's going to create another geodatabase to store all the rasters in. And this is where it's going to store the SWAT parameters. And I'm going to leave that as the default, which is where I installed SWAT. I think that's going to be the, the um, best place to store that. So I hit OK. And project setup is done. So when I hit OK, now I know that I'm ready to go. If you go to SWAT project, you have a few more options here, but we don't need any of them because we're set up. Now, before I go to the next step, I'm going to go ahead and add that polygon shapefile to the project so that I can spatially orient myself. And I'm going to save. And now the SWAT project is set up. That's it.